The positively charged center of the atom is usually described as being surrounded by a cloud of electrons. That's because, just like in a cloud, it's hard to see and know where exactly an atom's electron is. But we can guess where it probably is. It will probably be flying around the nucleus somewhere. Electrons are kind of like quarks. We're not sure if there's anything inside them. They are a type of particle called leptons, which have exactly negative one or zero charge, unlike the partial charges of quarks. There are six types of leptons. The most common and well-known is the electron with a negative one charge. Larger versions of an electron are muon and tau. The other three leptons have zero charge called neutrinos, which are so small, one millionth the size of a tiny electron, that they go right through our bodies in between all the empty space in our atoms without us ever knowing. Electrons are the main reason for a lot of what happens in chemistry and science. The other five of the leptons are either rare or don't have much effect. Electrons play a big role in letting atoms stick together, and having extra electrons or not enough is what makes magnets work. So quarks make up the nucleus of an atom, leptons make up the electrons of an atom, but what holds all these particles together? Click here to learn more about bosons.